Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Force here with some more Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. Welcome to the expansion. Uh, there's a new expansion out with five brand new decks and five new campaign opponents. We're going to be playing against the first opponent here, which is Selencinia. And yes, I am playing the Goblin deck, but hear me out. Uh, my point here, my goal, is to just kill him as fast as possible so I can use his deck, because that's really what I'm interested in, is checking his deck out. So, pretty decent opening hand, plus we play first, so let's keep it. Uh, let's try to make this a fast victory against Selensna. <laughs> and, uh, and then we can move on and play his deck. I'm really, really excited about this expansion. You want to know why? There's multicolor decks coming through, and that's the one thing that I... I really didn't like about Duels 2013, it was mostly mono color decks, uh, mono being single. So they were mo mostly single color decks with the exception of the black white deck, which I didn't even think was all that good to be honest. Uh, I, I just wasn't a fan of the way that deck was set up, so I'm really looking forward to checking out some of these multicolor decks and more importantly playing some of these multicolor decks. I'm, I'm really excited about that prospect, so, uh, so here we go, uh, we're going to try to take this guy out quick get his deck unlocked, and then check it out. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna play through the campaign, uh, probably in a few videos, maybe two or three videos, and then once that is done, we'll do some multiplayer with these new decks. All right, let's see here. Tap an untapped creature you control, put a 1-1 one, one green Saproling creature token on the battlefield, plus it's a 1-2. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay, let's see here though. Can play the Chieftain, which we will do. Other goblins get plus one, plus one, and haste. So now we're gonna swing all of these. Can't kill any of these, you can only do one damage to it. This guy's a 6-3, he's probably gonna block that. Take He takes it all, takes all 10 damage. Welcome to nine life. <laughs> this is gonna be a super quick victory, but that's fine. Remember guys, remember the purpose. I just wanna play his deck. Frankly, that's all I care about. I don't even know what his deck consists of. All right, he's gonna swing for one. And what is this? First strike vigilance, it's a two one. Not enough to save him. This guy is Dunzo. Oh, oh boy. So we can do it this way and we will. We will play him. Shock his creature. This is a. St no, <laughs> this deck is stupid. It is just too good. We're gonna play uh, this guy. Although I guess. Eh, whatever, it's the same. And then we attack for the win. Alright, well, now that this is out of the way. <laughs> now we unlock his deck and we get to play it. And again, that's what I'm excited about. That's what I care about. So, Force wins in what was that? Like two minutes? <laughs> Red deck is stupid, and as a result, I unlocked his deck. Oh yeah, buddy. All right, so we had a brief little edit there. I actually went through the deck manager and uh, picked, basically filtered the deck down to what I wanted it to be. So now I'm just gonna show you the deck and then we're gonna hop into the game. Uh, there's a bunch of cards. I actually had 10 extra promotional cards unlocked. Uh, but let me show you what the deck is. So this deck's focused around getting tons of tokens into play and pumping those tokens up. That's essentially the idea. It's a multicolored deck, so we've got the Evolving Wilds uh, in order to filter through and look for forest or plains, depending on what I need in a given situation. Uh, I got Sprout right here, put a 1-1 one, one green Saproling token in the battlefield. Got Eldamari's Call, green and a white, search my library for a creature card, reveal it and put it into my hand. The card is unbelievable. Fist of Ironwood, it's an enchant creature. When it comes into play, I put two 1-1 one, one tokens into the battlefield, but also enchant a creature gets trample. Couple of those. Uh, intangible virtue, creature tokens that I control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. Again, tokens is what this uh, deck is all about, so that's a good card here. Uh, a colorless and a green for two, one. I can tap three, put a one, one token into the battlefield. Couple of those. I also have a one, two that I can tap one and tap it to tap an untapped creature I control to put a token into the battlefield. Again, these regular creatures, I don't care so much about, I just want more tokens in play. Uh, two two lands for a 2-2. Two, two. I can either play a green, uh, I'm sorry, a forest or a plains for either casting cost and just gotta pay two of them. I can tap four, put a token into play, or tap four. Creatures I control get plus one, plus one till end of turn. Pretty awesome card, couple of those. 
Sigil Blessing. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus three, plus three, and other creatures get plus one, plus one. Hell yes. <laughs> this deck is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a 2-2 that I can sacrifice to put a 1-1 flying creature token into play at the uh, beginning of the next end step. A little hammer here. Equipped creature gets plus 2, plus 2 as trample and lifelink. 2-2, uh, two, two, when it comes into play, search my library for a land card. I get to put it in my hand. Again, not bad. Midnight Haunting, two one one white flying tokens in the battlefield. Tokens, tokens, tokens. Check out this bad boy in this deck. One colorless, two green for a star star. Power and toughness equal to the number of creatures I control. Yeah, you can imagine that gets pretty absurd pretty fast. Trophy Hunter, 2-3, some anti-flying. I can tap two to have it deal one damage to target creature with flying. Whenever it deals one damage to a creature with flying, I get to put a 1-1 token on it. 3-4 with Battle Cry. When it attacks, I get to put two 1-1 one, one soldier tokens into play, and they are attacking as well. 3-3, uh, three, three, when this comes into play, all other creatures I control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. 4-4 four, four comes into play, I gain four life. I can tap a green and a white to sacrifice it to regenerate each creature I control. This is great in an instant if someone were to do something uh, to kill all of my creatures. Uh, for example, I think the black deck has a card where all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn or something like that. There you go, all set, just regenerate them all. Unless the card says they can't be regenerated, I don't remember. Parallel Lives, amazing in this deck. Whenever an effect would put one or more tokens in the battlefield, I get to double that many of tokens. 5-5 <laughs> five, five for 5. I can tap 2, put a 1-1 one, one token into play. Overrun. Creatures I control get plus 3, plus 3, gain trample until end of turn. Uh, Nemeda Groove Guardian. It's a 4-5. I can tap 3 to put a token into play. I can sack a token. Sack a saproling, saproling to give all of their saprolings plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. This uh, costs 6 which is a lot for an enchant creature, but the enchanted creature is flying, and whenever it deals damage to a player, that that many I get to put that many tokens into play. And then I also have this 3-4, white creatures I control get plus one, plus one, green creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Tap it, put a legendary 2-2 two, two, green and white wolf creature token named Vojo onto the battlefield. <laughs> uh, boy, this deck is pretty awesome, I'm excited. So let's uh, actually hop back into the campaign and take a look at the deck in action. Sorry that took, I don't know, probably about five minutes. I just wanted to show you the deck. Let's uh, hop into it, huh? Next opponent, Azorius. All right, so Azorius gets to play first. Let's take a look at my opening hand. Um, really not that good. Let's draw a new one. All right, so this looks a little bit better. We will keep it. And Azorius gets to play first. All right, so let's see what this deck is all about. There is a Plains, and that doesn't tell me much. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna open up here with a Forest. Let me show you my hand really quick. Got a 1-2 that I can tap one, tap an untapped creature to put a 1-1 one, one token into play. I also have the 3-4 Battle Cry for four. Whenever it attacks, I get to put two Soldier Tokens into play that are also attacking. I've got the Enchant Creature. When it come, uh, that enchanted creature gets trampled, but when this comes into play, I get two tokens into play as well, and put two flying tokens into play. Lots of tokens. Lots and lots of tokens. Zorius, turn two. Blue and a white. What is this? All right. O2. Spear Dancer gets plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it. Whenever you cast an aura, you may draw a card. So, uh, clearly this card and that just basically tells me that this is a deck filled with auras and he's gonna make that just a, a beast <laughs> all right so turn two let's go ahead and throw down our one two and then we say go all right so I'll be interested to see how this game goes I'm really interested to see this deck Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Turn three. I can play this. It's a 2-2. Two, two. I can tap one white, sack it for a 1-1 one, one flyer. I could also play the enchantment to get a few tokens into play. I could get some flying tokens into play. Um, let me... Oh, why are you doing it that way? Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play this. Check this out. Play him. Then tap him to get a token into play. So I'm going to start 
trying to overwhelm him shortly. I still have a blocker now, you know. Not a blocker that can kill the 2-2, but as soon as that guy gets enchanted, he's going to be a 2-4 at least, plus whatever the enchantment is. Nothing that turn. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to... Damn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I really did not. All right, well, what I'll do here, though, is filter through the deck. Uh, I'll get another, um, another planes in play. And then I will also, that is not exactly what I wanted to do at all, but it's not necessarily the end of the world because what I can do here is we're gonna give him Trample. And I'm also gonna tap one, to get another guy into play, and then we're just gonna say go. So I'm working up to the point that I can overwhelm and hopefully I get something like an overrun or the card that gives all my tokens plus one plus one. Uh, either way, I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna start attacking next turn, most likely. All right, let's see what he plays here. Three, three, flying. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may put a one, one counter on each creature you control. Holy crap! That is good. Wow, that is good. That is good, good, good. All right. Doing to this, lets me look for a land. Really, not that vital here. I got this guy. Three, four, battle cry. When it attacks, I get to put tokens to play as well. And um, then, I'm gonna hit with all this. So, ooh, you know what, he'll probably block that guy. Should I just wait for a minute? Should I wait for a turn or two? I guess I can still attack with this and at least get two damage through, right? Because I don't really have anything right now. Like, a big potent push isn't exactly about to come through. So, we're just gonna attack with that. Although with the battle cry, yeah, I probably should have saved them, because I'm just gonna end up losing a creature here. I probably should have saved them for next turn push with battle cry, to be honest. Oh well. Not the worst thing, to be honest. Okay, so, he's playing an enchantment. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and has flying, plus it's totem armor. Uh, totem armor basically protects the creature. If enchanted creature, if a creature is enchanted by an aura with totem armor, it is shielded from destruction. If the creature would be destroyed, the shield saves it. All damage is removed from the creature, and the uh, totem or the the aura is destroyed. So that is unbelievable. Um, plus, he's going to get plus one, plus one across the board, which is, admittedly isn't a lot of creatures right now. But oh, this is ridiculous. He's going to be hitting me hard. Uh, I need a white to do that. Before the end of his turn, get a token into play. All right, now another forest. Hmm. I don't want. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna sack this. I need a flyer in play. I absolutely need a flyer. There's gonna be one in play at the end of my my end step coming up. Um. I would also like can get that or him get that and then um, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna wait one more turn next turn will be a big push So I've got some flyers now. I can protect myself against his ridiculous 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, he is going to play 3-3. Three, three, cost 6 to play. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for an aura card that that could enchant it. If it is still on the battlefield, you may put that aura card into the battlefield attached to it. Otherwise, reveal the aura card. Okay, so he's going to get another aura in play. It's going on this. Also, all of his creatures are going to get plus 1, plus 1. This is ridiculous. What aura did he put on it? Plus two, plus two is flying. When it dies, put a two, two token into play. All right. He's attacking for seven. I will block that. Does that have trample? I don't think so. No, it doesn't, okay. All right. 
I want like an overrun or something. God, so bad. This is something. This lets me pump up my creatures. One, two, three, four. I can do one, two, three. And then I can still afford the four. One, two, three. Planes. Play the planes. And then I can do him. Or should I get another token? I'm gonna play him too. Alright, next turn is gonna be the big hit. Now that he's in play. You'll see why. I can tap four. Creatures I control got plus one, plus one till end of turn. So all of this time and everything that's been going on all leading up to next turn. And we're gonna see what we can do. All right, what is he playing? Two, two flying hexproof. He's gonna attack for seven. Or should I just let it go through? to get an extra creature through next turn. Yeah. Oh, I don't have the eight. Shit. This is power and toughness equal number of creatures I control, which is good, but... Um, am I gonna wait another turn? <laughs> I'm gonna wait another turn. All right, guys, we're waiting another turn. <laughs> Everyone's like, force. What the heck are you doing? You'll see. He's a 13-13. I start doing this now. Use ability. Use ability. This is ridiculous. I haven't like I haven't attacked at all. Like all game. Hexproof, unblockable, it's a 1-1. I need another land though. That's the thing I really need. I'm gonna let it go through. Seven damage. I think we're gonna win this turn. If I draw another land, I'm positive. Okay, ready? You guys ready? Stop. Okay. Pretty sure I can still do this while attacking. So, here we go. I want to wait till I attack so that these two tokens come into play. You guys ready? All of this time leading up to this. Okay. Those two, two tokens came through. Gonna give everyone plus one, plus one. Gonna do it again. Plus, they all get pumped up from Battle Cry. <laughs> all right, he's gonna block the big guy. He's gonna block the five six with the seven seven, and there's the win. I don't know if that wasn't the most <laughs> eloquent way to win, or maybe I could have won earlier, but I just wanted to be certain. We got it. Oh, cool! Very cool! Very interesting deck. Very interesting indeed. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up this video, though. And what we're going to do is in the next video, I will be playing Azorius' deck against Rakdos. And then we're going to continue through that way until we have unlocked all five decks. We have our five videos, and then we can start doing some multiplayer with these brand new decks. So once again, guys, this is a look at the recent expansion for Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. We'll be working through this campaign, and unlocking the decks, and then uh, having some fun in multiplayer with these new multicolor decks, which I'm loving the fact that so far the first two have been multiplayer. I, I hope all three, all, all three additional ones are as well. Thanks again, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.